Hello everybody, I am that role-playing ginger and we are here with a new treat for you all. This is Pokemon Blue version, however, it is with a very specific set of rules that I have been devising and will be continuing to devise as we go along. I know for a fact this is not going to be the first ever challenge of this type, but I am now, this is the inaugural version of my Pokemon Misty run. So this is Pokemon Misty Blue version. The rules are as follows. I'm gonna go ahead and set this going. Uh, the rules are as follows. One, you cannot have a Pokemon in your party. You cannot catch a Pokemon, or at all, that is a type other than water. It has to have water in its type. Um, you have to start the game with the starter type that's water. You have to basically only use water to beat the whole game. Uh, there's a couple other little rules here, but I'll explain as we go along. Let me go ahead and get this started. Hello there! Welcome to the world of Pokémon! My name is Oak. People call me the Pokémon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokémon. For some reason, people Pokémon are- or for some people, Pokémon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokémon as a profession. First, what's your name? Oh, you know we're going with Gingy. Gotta go with Gingy. Boom! Right, so your name is Gingy. This little piece of crap is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were baby. Um, what was his name again? I uh, love that you can call him Ash. I grew up with red version. My big brother had blue version, so... I, 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 he was always Gary in mine. Um, what are we gonna name this dude? We're gonna name him something, um... I'm gonna name him... Stinkle. <laughs> oh, that's right! I remember now! His name is Stinkle! Gingy, your very own Pokémon legend is about to unfold! A world of dreams and adventures with Pokémon awaits! Let's go! Oh, you know, Professor Oak was hip back in the day. He knew about Let's Go way before Twitch and everything. Oh, this is gorgeous. I am playing this on my GameCube using my GameCube's Game Boy Adapter, which I had to take the GameCube apart today to fix because I wasn't reading discs. So I'm happy I was able to get it done in like half an hour and got it all put back together and set up. Um, this is the original blue version. I throw up the picture! I have a collection now growing of all the classic Pokemon games, and I'm very happy about that. I have gold and silver's English versions coming in uh, tomorrow, and I, I am got my eyes on some crystal versions. Gingy is playing the SNES. Okay, it's time to go. No, I want to play video games. I don't want to go outside. I don't want to play video games. Can I get in bed? I cannot. Okay. Uh, first things first, of course, we are getting our potion out. Always got to start off with the potion. It's used to help you get through the fight with uh, your rival. Hi, Mom! Right, all boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. What? Professor Oak is next door. He's looking for you. He's talking about me on TV. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on a railroad. Oh! I never knew that. As a, I never caught that. I better go to. I never caught that as a kid because I didn't see uh, Stand By Me until I was like 19 years old. But that's a cool. It's a little Stand By reference. I wonder if that's in Japanese as well. I have all the Japanese versions of these games too, so I have to see like what it's saying in there. Cram full of Pokemon books, cram full of Pokemon books. Okay. But yeah, this is the Pokemon Misty version, which is basically a challenge I am trying to come up with, and I'm devising the rules as we go, but I have a general three rules right now. Why is this game looking way better on my monitor where I'm capturing it than it does on the TV that it's plugged into? I'll have to figure that out later. Um, but yeah, I have a set of rules that I am going with. First rule, of course, is you have to only use water Pokemon to beat the game. Uh, you cannot catch a Pokemon if your intention is to evolve it into a water type, so like Eevee, you cannot catch Eevee because it's not a water Pokemon. You have to get Vaporeon, which makes it so I can't get Vaporeon in this game, but in like future games where you can sometimes find them out in the wilds, you can. Um, but yeah, only water Pokemon, uh, you're not allowed to use unless it's, unless it's a plot point. That's the key. There's an exception to the rule. There's, unless there is a plot point that requires you to use a non-water Pokemon, you can, you have to use water Pokemon. Like, uh, there are certain battles in, like, future games where you, like, have to use, um, 
like a legendary or something like that, and a legendary is not necessarily water, you can use a legendary to get through that, but only water outside of that. Uh, rule number two. You are not allowed, unless of course for plot purposes, to use a bicycle in any game, and you can blame Ash for that reason, because he has Misty's bike. What's up, nerd? Stinkle. Yo, Gingy! Gramps isn't around. Cool. Why are you so angry? You got the angry eyebrows going on, dude. You calm down. Uh, rule number three. Um, in any game that it is easily easier to obtain a Togepi, well, basically any game that you can get a Togepi without having to, like, trade for it or anything, you must get a Togepi. You have to keep it a Togepi its entire time. You cannot evolve it. It has to be a Togepi. And you cannot use it in battle. If it is the last surviving Pokemon in your party, you may throw Togepi out. And the only move it can use in that instance is Metronome. Unless it doesn't know Metronome. If it doesn't know Metronome, you have to use a non-attacking ability like Growl or anything like that. So basically, in games with Togepi, your party is then limited to five Pokemon. It's unsafe! Wild Pokemon live in tall grass! You need your own Pokemon for your protection! I know! Here, come with me! God, this music's so good. But those are the three key rules that I have come up with yet. I will be... We will be revising this. This is the first ever, like, Pokemon challenge I'm trying to devise and everything. And I know this is not the first time someone's done this, but this is my version of it. I'm trying to come up with a rule set for it. Any suggestions in the comments, I will definitely take seriously. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting! Stinkle! Oh, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Gingy. There are three Pokemon here. Ha ha! They are inside the Pokeballs. They're called Monster Balls in Japanese, I just recently learned, playing green version. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I have only three left. But you can have one. Choose! Hey, Gramps! What about me? Be patient, Stinkle. You can have one, too. But only after he chooses. I want to give you the advantage. So, of course, we have to take Squirtle. He's a tiny turtle. Uh, he is one foot eight, and he weighs 20 pounds. After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. Powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. Interesting. You want the water Pokemon, Squirtle? Of course I do. This Pokemon is really energetic. Shinji receives Squirtle! Do you want to give a nickname to Squirtle? Oh, you know we want to give a nickname to Squirtle. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spots. Um... Um... Alright, I think I, I think I can do this. Let's see. Nope. Turt squirts! Perfect. <laughs> Turt squirts. I'll take this one then. I always love the little, like, turn back, like he's yanking it off the counter. He received Bulbasaur. Awesome. If a wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can fight against it. Interesting. Oh. God, I love the rival theme in the first game. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Now, I do have... I think I have either Growl or Tail Whip to lower his defense or attack, but I think the best strategy would just be to go full-out attack uh, to get the upper hand on him. Oh, crap, he's faster. I have my potion, though. I think the reason they give you a potion... Oh, we're the same speed. That's why it's alternating. Um, I think the reason they give you a potion at the beginning of the game is to help you with this fight. I honestly feel like this fight is one you are not intended to win. Alright, he has three damage. Hopefully he doesn't crit. He's growl. It'll take maybe two or three more hits to actually kill him. It'll take three. I'm gonna risk it! Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me! Oh, no! Because I don't know if I'm going first or him, so I'm going to go ahead and use the potion. Covered by 18. 
I'm pretty sure they give you the potion just so you can use it in this fight. Now you can get lucky. He can miss an attack, or whatnot, or you can get a crit. There's all luck and everything in this, but I think the intention is for you to lose this fight, because in this game and in a few Pokemon games after this, leading up to the more modern games where they kind of did away with the idea, I believe the idea is that you are the underdog. Like, they tried him. I picked the wrong Pokemon! He just goes to the counter, slams Bulbasaur back up there, and takes Charmander. <laughs> no, that'd be sad. I don't want that to happen to Bulbasaur. I love Bulbasaur. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Gingy, Gramps, smell you later! What do you think of that? Gingy, raise your young Pokemon by making it fight! <laughs> Go out there, make it kill things! But no, I, I, I sincerely think that you are meant to be the underdog, because, like, you think about it. Second game, not so much. Second game, the, your rival was the thief that started coming at you. Uh, and then Wally was your main rival in the, uh, in the third gen. But, like, you think about it, Gary's always ahead of you in this game. Or, Green is always ahead of you in this game. And, like, you're the one having to catch up to him. Like, you make it to a town, and, oh, he's already there, and he's already got his Pokemon set up and everything. You go to the next town, he's already there. You go to the Elite Four, he's already won. You have to be the one to catch up to him, and I think that underdog factor really played an important part in making you feel, like, determined to get better. Oh, Grandpa, don't be so mean, he hasn't had his coffee yet. That's a... that's... that's... it's way better in, uh, as an adult than it ever did as a kid. Um, let's see if I can remember this. Yeah, there's a potion up here. It's either a potion or a super potion. We'll see. Potion! Perfect. Alright. But yeah, I grew up with this generation of Pokemon. This was my introduction to the franchise, and I adored it. Um, I remember it was, I think, Christmas time or whatnot. My parents got me red version, and my big- I need to go in here. And my big brother, blue version, because they didn't want us to have the same one. They wanted us to have, like, both sides of the experience. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? Gingy got Oak's parcel. Awesome. Can I buy things from you? Okay, say hi to Professor Oak for me. God damn it. Um, but yeah, so we got two sides of it, and, uh, my big brother was around, like, seven or eight at the time. I was about five. Uh, and we... we became, like, rivals for the game. He would always win. I could never beat him in a Pokémon battle. However, I always had the upper hand with catching and completing the Pokédex. God, Pidgey looks so angry. I forgot how angry you look in the first game, Pidgey. I need to get my first water attack. That'll, that'll make this go much more smooth. Uh, the Misty Challenge is gonna make these first few generations really rough. Once we get to Gen 3 and onward, it's gonna be a little easier, because the water Pokémon become more frequent earlier in the game. However, I think the first Pokémon I can catch that's a water Pokémon in this game is Magikarp. And that's way down the line once I get an Old Rod. Oh wait, are you the guy that gives me a potion? No. One of these guys, I think, is like advertising for the Pokémart. Rattata! It's also weird playing this one right now, because I've been playing uh, Pokemon Green version, which is the Japanese, a Japanese version of the game, and it was also the first version of the game. Uh, so I have uh, my Pokemon Red and Green versions from Japan have like the original, original Pokemon. These ones that we all remember here in the West were not the first versions of these Pokemon designs. Terrasquares grew to level seven. These are not the first versions of the Pokémon designs that we've come to know and love. Like, these are version 2, and some of the version 1s look amazing, some of them are terrifying. I'm talking to you, Wigglytuff. You are nightmare fuel in Gen 1. It's a convenient shop, so please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. Yes. Yes. But it does mean, basically, until I can catch another water Pokémon, it's just Squirtle, which is both a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because that means that Squirtle's gonna get all the XP, and I'm not having to, like, throw out other Pokémon to keep my party built up. However, it does mean that there are gonna be some real challenging fights. 
and I'm hoping that I'm hoping eventually down the line to be able to start incorporating some uh, Nuzlocke run things here with the Misty version. Oh, Gingy, how is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be as talented as a Pokemon trainer. Or talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? Gingy delivered his parcel. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you. <coughs> what custom Pokeball did he order? Gramps! Like, did he have, does he have a Master Ball? What did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request of you two. On the desk there is my invention, Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Gingy and, and Stinkle, I almost call him Sprinkle. Take these with you. Gingy got Pokedex from Professor Oak. Hell yeah. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old, I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, leave it all to me. Gingy, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Gingy. But, I'm, you jerkwad, can you talk to your grandson, sir? I'm gonna go talk to his sister anyway, she likes me. Me and her, me and her, tight! And she's gonna get me a town map even though he told her not to give me one. Because she's cool. Hi! Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Here, this will help you. Gingy got the town map. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. S suck it, Stinker. Or Stinkies. Stinkles. Whatever I named my rival in this one. This music is so good. I love the little background. I am not finding any wild Pokemon to fight. This is going to be tricky. I will probably have to do some sort of grinding in between episodes. Uh, because... There's going to be... I, I want to have a War Turtle before I fight Brock, given that it's just going to be my one Pokemon. Also, a good thing is I don't have to buy too many Pokeballs. I do want Antidotes because I'm going into the forest. I don't need Paralyzed Heals or Burn Heals just yet, but Antidotes are good. That's another thing is I was... Um, because I'm not going to be focused too hard on catching so many Pokemon, I can actually focus on buying healing items for my Pokemon to keep my team alive. So I'll be saving money in the long run, which is really cool. Go up here, maybe... What, time, what level do I get my first water attack? Is it... Is it water gun? No, it's bubble. Do they still use bubble in modern games? I don't know if they do. I imagine they probably haven't just gotten rid of the move, but... It's not common anymore. Gingy got a Pokeball. Awesome. Not finding any Pokemon to fight. This is wildly bizarre. Did I like break the game? Ran out of Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with. You should carry extras. I don't need extras, sir. Ain't no water Pokemon in this forest. <gasps> hey, you have Pokemon. Come on, let's battle them. You got it, dude. I have a Pokemon, technically. Bug catcher. Oh, that's right, they don't have names in this one. Was it the second game that they started getting names? I think it was the second game. I know one of the one of the coolest features of the third game was that you had the phone and you can get re-challenged by Pokemon trainers if you took their number. Turret Squirts, we gotta fight this Weedle! Oh god. I just said I'm now scared because I know Weedle's got poison sting. Use nothing but string shots on me, please. That's all I want you to use. No! Oh, God. Oh, it's a minor heart attack every time I get hit by Poison Sting in these old games, because if I see that second wiggle, the second screen wiggle is a nightmare fuel, because that was like the, oh, crap, I'm dead. They did away with that and made Poison way less scary in recent games, because it doesn't hurt you outside of battle. That was the worst part about Poison, was... Your your Pokemon died outside of battle too. No! Come on, finish him off. God damn it! It's only one damage, but that one damage is gonna stack up quick. 
He has a second Pokemon, too. Level up. Level 8! Do I get a water attack? Bubble! Perfect. It's Caterpie. Okay, I'm going to definitely go ahead and just use the antidote, because Caterpie can't poison me. Uh, okay, cool. I can replace my moves. I can remember if that was allowed in the first game. Speed fell. What? I guess Bubble is like spitting foams of bubbles and everything out, so I imagine that's why it affects the Pokemon's speed. Boop. Like they're covered in foam, it slows them down. And then tackle. He missed. But I didn't. Victory is mine! Did you defeat a bug catcher? No, Caterpie can't count it! Or, I thought he said can't out it. Um, I am gonna run back though, because now I, 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 I've been discussing this with people doing the Misty run for a few months now, and I, I kept it kind of quiet on the down low, publicly, because I wanted to come up with the rules and everything, and discuss it with people that I also like. I, I super value their opinion on it. Been taking a lot of input, and we're trying to make this a hard but fun uh, run, and so. The first few games, it's definitely going to be harder because of the limited. And you can you can probably already, like anybody who knows old Pokemon, you probably already can kind of see the makeup of the party by the time we make it to like the Elite Four, because there's only so many water Pokemon you can possibly get. Um, I've also toyed with the... I'm, I'm thinking of adding the no duplicate Pokemon rule. So you have to have at least one of different types, which doesn't mean you... which means that you can have, like, different forms of it, like, Misty's got a star you and a Starmie, but she doesn't have two star you, she doesn't have two Starmies. I don't think she ever has two of the same Pokemon. At least not that I can remember. I was toying with the idea that you can't have a Golduck, you can have a Psyduck, but you can't have a, a Golduck, because she didn't, in the show, have a Golduck as far as I remember. It was always a Psyduck. There was an episode where she thought it evolved, but it wasn't. Uh, Psyduck was just like, sleeping the whole time, and this Golduck was a flirt, which is creepy. Um, but then I was like, oh wait, in Generation 2's game, when you go back to Kanto and you fight um, Misty, she does have a Golduck, so it does evolve down the road, so I took that rule out. We're, we're kind of trying to incorporate both the show and the game, don't you dare. <sighs> trying to incorporate both the show and the game into the rule set of the Misty version. I'm also going to be doing this with one game from each generation. I, I thought at first, when I was like, first just throwing the idea out there, I'm like, I'm going to do this with every game. No. I'm going to do this with one uh, of every generation. I'm going to do blue version, and then probably... I'll probably do silver version? Or I'll probably do crystal version, if I have a crystal version by that point. I also want to do them on games that I actually own the physical copies of, because I... I love having the physical copies. It makes me feel much happier being able to play them on there. Like, I have people who are like, you can just emulate it, man, and it'll probably even look better. I'm like, I can, and I have done that in the past. It just doesn't feel the same to me. It feels much better to be sitting here holding a GameCube controller, playing original blue version on the GameCube's Game Boy adapter, than it does just to open up an emulator. It... it it adds a whole new layer of nostalgia to it to me that makes the brain gremlins happy. And isn't that what we're all trying to do, is just make our brain gremlins happy? Yeah, I think my strategy, because I need to get to Town 2, I think Town 2 will sell potions? Pewter City? I think they'll, I think they'll sell potions to me. Woo, we're leveling up quick! This is what happens when you only have one Pokemon to level up. Turn squirts, use bubble! Don't you poison me. I don't want no poisonings going on. No! God damn it! <laughs> I knew it! That second wiggle is the worst! It's the bane of my existence. That second wiggle's gotta be like ten times scarier when you're actually in a Nuzlocke run of these first games. Which I've wanted to do for a long time. I never did, but now that I have, like, all of them again, I'll probably set one of them to be a Nuzlocke run. Uh, 
Uh, just for personal. I don't think I'll be recording that or anything. That'll just be a personal fun thing. Let's see. All right. Hello. Oh, sweet. I just replaced the antidote. There's nothing up there as far as... There's probably a hidden item up there, but I don't remember where it is. Caterpie! Or Caterpie, as it's spelled. Yeah, I do have a copy of Gold and Silver coming in the mail this weekend. I'm looking for copies of Crystal. Um, this is also a side effect of what I've been doing for the past month, which is teaching myself to take apart, uh, fix, and clean out, and make sure everything looks works for old video game systems. I've already been able to open up and completely fix my original Nintendo. I'm able to play games on there. Some games aren't working on it, but I think it's the games itself because other games are working on it. So I'm going to be trying to completely fix the two games, at least right now, that aren't working, which are, ironically, Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th, which I have copies of. I made them look like brand new, almost brand new cartridges. However, they're still not working, so I think they're... I need to get my, um... My... What's it called? The meter that lets you check for electrical currents and all that, and make sure that everything's working fine for the... on the circuit boards and all that. And then, I also want to get, um... Microfiber pen, I think is what it's called, and take that to the, uh, connectors, because I've already cleaned the connectors. There's still some grime on some of them that I was not able to get out with my cleaning. Uh, so I'm gonna be trying to find other safe ways to do it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm doing all this in an attempt to try and... Uh... Oh good, he didn't poison me. I'm doing all of this to try and turn this into something I can actually make some money off of, because it's something I also really like to do. Level 11! Jinji defeated Bug Catcher. I give! You're good at this! Yeah, you threw one Weedle at me. If you threw one Weedle at me and I lost, there's no reason for me to be in this forest. At first I thought that was a Dratini, and I was like, holy sh... It's a Metapod, though. It's a Metapod. He always looks like he's going to the right, like, uh -huh. But I think, yeah, he is, he's looking towards Squirtle right now. I always thought he was, like, looking away from Squirtle back in the day, and that was his nose. He has, like, a big old long pointy nose, and he's just got an upset mouth going, uh -huh. He's got a Squidward attitude going on. Now, is Bubble special attack? Do they have special attack by this point? Let's see. Let's check that out. No, not Pokedex. Turn squirts. Uh, we have attack, defense, speed, and special. I don't know if special is both special defense and special attack, or if it's just special or uh, special attack. But it's its own stat right now, so it could be special attack and special defense. But the defense on... No, it has to be both. Because Metapod was using Harden, and my bubble was still doing the same damage. You better not poison me, I'm right about to be out of this forest. I swear to god. Whew, critical hit, but not poison. I'll take that. Alright, we have done it! We made it through the forest, and into Pewter City. What's up, old man? Have you noticed the bushes on the roadside? They could be cut down by a special Pokemon move. Cool. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Awesome. I will, sir. Although I'm only getting one kind, thank you very much. So we're in Pewter City now. Trainer tips. Any Pokemon that takes part in battle, however short, earns XP. Or EXP. It doesn't have a sign that tells me this is Pewter City. Is it in my map? Use. Pewter City. Power Plant. Indigo Plateau. Whoa, I'm just all over the place. Oh, okay. So I don't get to choose where it's going, but I'm at Pewter City, then Route 3, then Mount Moon. Nice. The Kanto region looks really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. And it's right next to Johto, too. So we at least know the positioning of those two. There's a lot of people that think that um, Galar and Paldea are, or not, maybe maybe Paldea and Kalos regions, which are Gens 6 and 9, respectively, uh, are in the same spots, but we don't have verification of that yet. I'm going to get 7. That'll put me at 9, I believe. 
think I have nine. Pokeballs, potions, I have ten. There we go. Put my antidotes and potions at the top. Awesome! Well, I think we are in a good spot right now to call this for a good beginning episode, the inaugural episode, if you will. Oh, is there a secret in here? What are you doing? Psst! Do you know what I'm doing? No. I'm spraying Repel to keep Pokemon out of my garden. Oh. Pewter City, a stone gray city. That's... It's not... It doesn't sound like an advertisement. It sounds like an insult. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to call it right now. This has been the inaugural episode of Pokemon Misty Blue version, and I hope you guys are going to join me on this journey. I'm excited, because I love water Pokemon, and I feel like this is going to be a fun little challenge, especially once I get to Lieutenant Surge. That's going to be hard, because Lieutenant Surge is going to be able to wreck my Pokemon. By that point, I might be able to have a Magikarp, if not some other Pokemon too, but we will have to see. But until then, everybody, peace out! <laughs>